All right, you guys, we are back with another Timu crystal haul. You guys really enjoyed the last one, so I went and spent probably another $150 on crystals from Timu. So let's go ahead and open up this haul and see if I'm as impressed with this round of Timu crystals. All right, you guys, this is packed full. I will say in general, the shipping is very quick. Let's jump in and open up the first crystal, which is this one this is what it looks like very nondescript pretty much unraveling the first crystal is ooh. okay so this is a piece of spalerite and it actually looks really decent quality you have the signature druzy that Spalarite typically has. It is carved in an oblesque shape. It looks pretty good. The tip is intact, but overall really decent quality. I will put all the prices I paid up on the screen as well. And this is a pretty small piece, but not a mini. I'd say it's very average sized. All right, next. This is the next piece. And while we're opening this piece, if you're new to my channel, my name is Barbie. I have a crystal shop called Cold Brew Crystals and I review and open and unbox crystals on my YouTube channel. I've been a crystal shop owner for four years, so I thought it would be a great idea to review the crystals from Timu. So I am here to tell you if they are fake, real, or good quality or bad quality. So this one is a bag inside of a bag. And this time around, I try to order more uncommon crystals to truly test the quality because last time I did a Timu unboxing the crystals are really decent quality so I wanted to order more high quality stuff to see if it was true again this is what I ended up ordering they are included quartz and they have some black inclusions in them these are very nice quality you can see how clear the crystals are they even have some striations on the side the little barcode these are, again, very nice quality pieces. They are very small though. My face for scale reference. I don't know, I'd give this one like a nine out of 10. Next, ooh, this one feels really big. The next one. And just so you guys know, when I'm picking out crystals to order, there are some that I know that are fake or low quality, so I don't order those. But I would potentially do a video of fake crystals from Timu just so you guys can learn and see what is fake on their website. Let's open up this baby. Oh my gosh, it got stuck to my ear. Okay, interesting. So I ordered a baby dragon egg or septarian piece. These are from Madagascar and it does have like sugar black jersey on it but it almost has zero it actually does have zero yellow which is the signature septarian and I thought this based on the listing would be a little bit more authentic in terms of having the yellow this just has the gray I mean overall it's a decent piece the back does have a few scratches on it but yeah the lack of yellow makes it a little disappointing but the druzy is nice but it's just very mini more like a sugar juicy so I would say this one's decent maybe like a five out of ten not my favorite next let's see what we got oh Okay, this one came in like a glittery metallic. I don't even remember what this was. Oh, oh, okay, I know, I know what it is. This one is a little bit more of a man. Oh my God, the wing just fell off. Oh, it broke. Okay, it was supposed to be this really beautiful dragon, but as you heard that drop as I open, the aura piece fell off. So it's supposed to look like this, which actually is a really, really pretty piece. I feel like this would be a nice home decor piece. So I think I can glue this back on, but yeah, obviously not made the best. <laughs> the fact that it broke even through all that bubble wrap. Still overall, I really like this piece, but yeah little bit of a shame that it broke so next I did order a crystal crown so let's grab that come to think of it I'm surprised more crystals don't break with them shipping them in a non bubble wrap bag all the way from China so this is the crown seems like pretty decent quality you got a pretty nice piece of amethyst just amethyst flower clear quartz here and then fluorite it's actually like feels really heavy and well made <clears throat> This is for a child. I wonder if I can just like open it. 
Oh, now it's too big. Okay, I guess it's adjustable, but it still pinches your head quite a bit. I mean, it's decent. It doesn't have anything to really like clip into your hair, but I like it. Hmm. It's decent, it's decent. <laughs> We'll give it like a 7 out of 10 because it is a little bit hard to keep on, but next. This is the next one. It looks kind of big. Oh. Okay, this is my first like disappointing one. So I ordered an Ocean Jasper, like a Sea Jasper palm stone. And if you guys don't know, Ocean Jasper is technically trademarked. So anything that is called Ocean Jasper that isn't from a specific vein of a specific mine in Madagascar isn't technically officially Ocean Jasper according to the trademark. But I ordered a Ocean Jasper lookalike palm stone and the thumbnail showed beautiful orbicular color colorful palm stones and this is what I got. A very bland, very brown, very stripey, no orb piece. This is probably one of the saddest palm stones, but it's definitely not what the photos look like. This looks a little sad. I think it's still pretty, but it's just not what I expected. Definitely disappointed based on the photos. Two out of ten. So next, Oh, okay, so this was a piece of fluorite. Someone asked me to review their fluorite, so I really wanted to see what their fluorite is. In my opinion, the best fluorite comes out of Mexico. I doubt this is Mexican fluorite, but let's open it up and see. Okay, while I was changing my battery, that crown fell off and bashed me in the face, and it hurt really bad, so I'm not wearing it anymore. Let's take a look at this piece of fluorite. So here is the piece of fluorite. It is pretty small. However, it does have a very nice, rainbow right here that I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera. It does have a bit of a chevron piece. I can't really tell if this is Mexican fluorite. It does look very nice quality. It's a very clear piece. You can see my face through it which indicates a higher quality. It does have really nice coloring. It does have a blue and purple stripe in it. So I'd say overall this is really beautiful. I would give this like a 6 out of 10. Next! So we got another little mini piece. Oh my gosh, whatever this is, it's super teeny tiny. I honestly don't remember what I ordered that was this small. Oh my god. Okay, this is so small and the piece is broken. Like you can see it's completely broken. This one is really disappointing. Based on the photos, it looked like it was clusters or individual points, but this one clearly is just like a broken piece. I don't know. This one's super disappointing, especially because it's just straight up broken. I would give this one like a 1 out of 10. Next! pretty big. This looks like it's supposed to stand like this, but it actually stands like this, and it's a polished calcite tower. It's actually really pretty, and it has intact points. It has a really nice sheen to it. It has a nice polish. I really like this one. I actually don't have anything like this in my collection. I have been seeing these pop up more and more on the Chinese market. I would give this one like a 9 out of 10. Okay, next a couple pieces left. Okay, this is the next piece. Feels pretty heavy. So this is a blue appetite palm stone. Okay, so this is what the blue appetite palm stone looks like. A pretty decent size. The quality is okay. There's definitely some unpolished or filled in piece right there. Sometimes if they can't polish the piece fully, they'll put resin in. So definitely not the best quality. Based on the photos, I was expecting a better quality. However, the color is really nice and there is a little bit of sheen but you can tell it hasn't been polished to the best but for the price point I would say it was fairly decent so I would give this one a 6 out of 10. We have two more crystals in here. Next is this one. So this next one was supposed to be a pink amethyst geode and you can see in here it is absolutely obliterated. It got completely crushed. Look at that. It's in pieces. I am surprised because last time I did a Timu haul, nothing came broken. And this time we've already had two things break or have been sent <laughs> broken pieces. Okay, because this broke, I'm gonna give it a one out of 10. Okay, and last one is this one, another small piece. 
So this last piece I ordered is a piece of Super 7. I have high expectations because this piece was expensive and Super 7 is a little rare. Here is the piece. I really like this piece. It looks super nice quality. It definitely is authentic. Super 7, it has really nice striations. It's self-healed. It has really nice points has really nice coloration has a really nice sheen overall this piece is really nice i'm glad this one came safely and undamaged this one i would say 10 out of 10. <sighs> Okay, you guys, so I spent well over $100 on those crystals, and this time around, I would say really not worth it. Last time, the quality was really nice, nothing came broken. Just overall, like, definitely not worth the $100 this time around. And I know how Timu works is individual wholesale suppliers. I got really lucky with the first order I did. Everything came with much higher quality than what I was expecting. This time around, I'd say definitely more disappointed with the quality and the damage pieces like so much more came damaged let me know if you guys want me to do another Timu haul I would love to do one where I buy their fake crystals and review them for you thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal content I do crystal unboxings on my wholesale orders I do crystal shop reviews and I have a bunch of videos on my channel about how to spot fake crystals if you would like to learn. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye.